Hey guys, happy Wednesday already halfway towards the week and we are expecting for that rain to still continue for today as we're seeing currently those showers already popping up across Adago County, a few uh, towards the coast and we are expecting for most of that activity to still be around our area around two or three in the afternoon. Meanwhile, that rain, the, the rainfall that fell the, the last 12 hours was pretty heavy, most mostly for Willacy County. They did receive about two inches of rain uh, over here in the yellow area. Harlingen did receive a little bit of rain as well, and Rio Grande City had a small scattered uh, storm across the their county. Now, for today, we are expecting, like I mentioned, for the, those rain chances to be peaking around 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon, and we could have some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some areas could receive about 1 to 3 inches of rain. Remember, folks, not everyone will receive rain, but there could be some slight minor flooding in the low line areas of our valley. So enjoy the rain for today because after today and tomorrow, those rain chances are gone for quite a while and the heating trend continues to increase throughout the next couple of uh, days throughout the valley. So currently we are seeing temperatures around 88 degrees in Brownsville, 85 in McAllen, 82 in Harlingen and 84 in Westaco. Winds still coming in from the north at about six miles per hour. Now taking a look at what highs should be peaking like uh, for today, 91 degrees for Edinburgh, 90 in Westaco and 85 for the island. Remember, we are expecting those rain chances, so that umbrella should be necessary to carry for today. Highs around 90 for most of the valley, mostly cloudy, and we are expecting for those cloudy conditions to remain for today. Then for tonight, we will be dropping to 94 degrees, partly to mostly cloudy, pretty light winds for tonight. And remember, we could still potentially see some scattered showers for this evening. Our day planner is showing us that by around 6 p.m., temperatures should be ranging in the 86 degree mark, a chance of still some showers showing up by then. Then by 9 p.m., temperatures should be going down to the lower 80s. For the next three days, we are expecting for those temperatures to continue to bounce back to the mid-90s by Friday. Then for Father's Day, if you, have, if you guys have any plans, we are expecting temperatures to be bouncing back to 97. So rain chances, like I mentioned, we have a high rain chance for today. Then for tomorrow, a slight 20% rain chance. And we see dry conditions from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So like I mentioned, we should enjoy these cooler conditions as we are expecting for, for them to still remain only for today, possibly for tomorrow. Then we start peaking back into the mid and upper 90s for the rest of the week. Our, if you're headed out to the water for today, we do have a high temperature of 85 degrees. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms could be popping up and we are expecting winds to remain from the east northeast from 10 to 15 knots. And your first one five AccuWeather forecast letting us know that your temperatures will continue to bounce back to 95 by Friday, 96 on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we are expecting for those temperatures to still be pretty high and warm. Make sure to stay hydrated, folks. That was a look at your first one five forecast. We'll be right back after this break.